Xiaomi 4K um, sports cam. Uh, originally, I had uh, a replacement on this unit uh, due to sound issues, and um, this replacement unit has now suffered similar sound issues. Um, so what I'm doing is uh, I'm just going to take it apart uh, because uh, Xiaomi USA has told me that they are not replacing this unit. Um, and I'm not sure why because they originally replaced it for me, uh, but now they aren't. So uh, since I don't really have a choice, I'm just going to open it up and see if I can fix the sound issue. Um, so far, I'm just prying open the front cover. This is the top. I'm just going to pry open the front cover. I have one of these plastic tools and I'm just the first thing I did was I actually just stuck my nails in there and just pulled on it uh, as you can see these tabs um, if you just push them in um, they sort of release the tension and you can actually pop the cover off uh, so far I don't see anything attached to it but as I uh, progress I'll I'll keep updating the video so uh, I pretty much released most of the tabs as you can see uh, let's see yep all right so uh, wait okay it's recording um, so I like I said before uh, I just released the tabs uh, what you'll notice is once the tabs are released the center will still seem to be stuck and I assume that maybe it was a uh, uh, some kind of ribbon cable that was stuck to it or some other uh, thing that was attaching the front cover and I realized it was just some adhesive that's in the front so uh, don't be afraid to you know tug on it because um, you'll you'll feel that this thing is bending that's okay just keep pulling on all sides and uh, essentially you know, all you just want to do is release the uh, the cover from the, the adhesive you see right here so uh, another thing I want to mention is um, the mics are actually these two holes. Uh, so I'm going to see whether I can um, see what the issue is with the mics here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I see four screws on each corner. Uh, they're Phillips style. Let's see if I can get that focused. Mm. Yeah. It's hard to see, but they are definitely fo uh, Phillips. Um, get a precision precision screwdriver. Um, Phillips double zero should work. On the uh, last screw, there is actually a a Yi sticker. Uh, I'm assuming that's for tampering uh, for tampering purposes. So uh, I think it's just a sticker. You just have to lift it up and uh, replace it if you wish. Uh, throw it away if you wish as well. So here are those four screws and that sticker, which was pretty easy to remove. Uh, I just used a uh, X-Acto blade. Uh, I actually found two other screws that are in these two holes over here. Uh, I'm not sure if those are required for assembly, but I just took them off. Um, they seem to be the same. It's these two over here. They seem to be the same size as the original four that I took from each corner. Um, uh, so right now I'm trying to tug this out and it's giving way, but it's not coming out completely. So I'm not sure why. Um, just to be on the safe side, I removed the adhesive that's covering this ribbon cable. Uh, it's just right here. It's just some electrical tape. And as well as this one, I just peeled it back. Uh, I'm just going to take these ribbon cables off because I feel like this is for the, the front display. And if that's uh, adhered to the, the back, then if I pull this whole unit out, I might risk tearing this ribbon cable, uh, likewise for this as well. So um, I'm just going to remove this. So the way you move this is, uh, let's see, uh, not sure actually. Uh, I'll figure it out and I'll show you. All right, so it's not actually a cable that has any locks on it. So I just stuck my screwdriver in there and just start to pry it out. As you can see, it's coming out right now. If I were you, I'd do it with two hands, but I gotta show you guys, so I'm doing it with one hand. Um, in order to put this back, you can either use uh, tweezers or I'm using some needle nose pliers to 
grasp it and shove it back inside. Just be a little bit careful with it. Sorry, the lighting's kind of bad right now. For this one, there's actually little edges, little tabs on each side that you can use to uh, push this out. So on each side, just get something uh, really small, like a flat head, small flat head, and you can just push this out. All right, so after removing the cables, I've gotten some more progress. As you can see, I can actually pry this up a little bit more now. Uh, seems to be separating from the ripping cables, so I think it's a good idea to take these off, these ripping cables off. Uh, this side seems to be stuck still, not sure why. Maybe it's more adhesives, we never really know. Oh, I see. Uh, it's this cover. Hopefully you can see it, uh, this cover. I can tell that it's hanging onto it on the inside. It's the the, the USB uh, micro USB uh, jack is actually uh, shoved into the casing, so I have a feeling I would have to uh, push it in uh, or push at least the lens in and then pull it out. So let's see if that's the case. Yeah, it's definitely in there. Um, I would say. Uh, get the plastic trim tool and actually pry a little bit on the uh, casing, push it out so that it gives room for the USB jack to uh, slide, slide up. Yeah, so uh, it was indeed that. Um, instead of pushing, uh, I just used this side to pull up because remember how I said this side had uh, more give? So uh, I actually pushed this up and then pulled on it while pushing here and that seemed to have released, as you can see, the USB, um, USB jack. Hopefully that's clear for you guys. Um, oh, yeah. So, as you can see, it came out, and this is the empty casing. Uh, as you can see, the, uh, the ribbon cables are still on the casing, so uh, you definitely want to take, uh, let's see. Yeah, so what I was saying was, um, you see these rib ribbon cables, uh, they are attached to the casing. I'm assuming it's for the power button here and the, uh, the screen is for this one. Um, the unit now is off so this was the front of the unit and this is the rear of the unit and uh, let's see where the mics are. So from what I'm seeing so far the mics are actually not uh, on the PCB itself. Uh, they still seem to be, because remember how I said that these two holes are the mic holes? It still seems like it's under this battery casing here. So I'm assuming this ribbon cable uh, provides both power signals and mic input for the camera. So uh, I have a feeling I'll have to figure out how to take this apart as well. 
because I have to get under here and see if it's the adhesives on the mic that had melted from you know overheating because I know for the old Yi uh, the adhesive or there's like a piece of tape that's covering the mic um, so I have to get to uh, get to both mics and see physically whether that is the issue with with this uh, 4k so far I've only found one screw uh, and that is right here this is the speaker by the way I think well, actually no it's not it's the uh, it's a tripod mount um, but I only see one screw right here so I'll just take that off for now all right so it was just one screw um, wasn't any adhesives on it what I did was I stuck my finger into the battery port and like this and just literally pushed up uh, it doesn't seem like there's anything holding on to it and I see the mics right here so let's see what's wrong with these things oh and the power button just pops out as well uh, so the two mics here and here uh, have a, a little plastic sorry not plastic rubber rubber silicone seal thing on it uh, there's holes in it and what I'm looking at right now is it seems to be a hard wire mic on each side and I don't know if there's anything I can do with it um, I see a hole for it in a membrane that I'm assuming is picking up the uh, signals but there's no sticker or anything that I can take off uh, yeah sorry it's not really focusing on it but you sort of see it there I'm not sure what to do with this on the casing there's a, a mesh screen on both sides uh, I'm assuming that's for preventing dust from entering the mic uh, yeah that's actually a mesh um, I haven't done anything so far I'm not sure what how to proceed if you if you think you know what to do uh, comment in the comment section and let me know uh, what I can do um, from here I think I'm just gonna assemble it and see what happens to it um, if it still doesn't work then I suspect that maybe there's issues with this whole unit um, and I'm not even sure if they sell replacement parts um, like this um, or the issues on the actual PCB itself which I obviously would not be able to tackle um, but yeah so far I've assembled most of it and I haven't found a physical issue with it uh, I'm just going to look around, see if any of the solders are loose or have loose components, um, but otherwise everything looks pretty pretty good so far. So I uh, blew out the two holes with some canned air and I put the uh, little rubber boots back on. Uh, I'm just going to shove this back in and see how it goes. Don't forget to uh, slide your car button back in. Uh, you can just put it on the inside and then slide this unit in. It went in pretty easy. I just lined it up and pushed it back in. You do have to widen the case a little bit uh, just to allow the mics to go in. Um, can't see it but the, uh, the mics are back in place. Uh, put the screw back in. Well putting it back in was definitely not as hard as taking it out. Um, I just put this tilted and put this in first so that it can slide into the uh, the casing and then I uh, just gradually laid, laid this down and it just snapped back into place uh, there's nothing holding it in uh, but it is a tight fit so you'll probably have to again loosen up the, the casing around here so you can put it in well what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put the cables back on and I'm going to test the camera without the case um, and see if it has worked um, or at least it has been fixed because there's no point putting the cover back on and then realize it doesn't work and taking it off again right so um, let's see what the progress is like
Oh, actually, I misspoke about this uh, ribbon cable because uh, I'm actually having a bit of problem pushing this back in. And I realized on this side, there's actually a locking mechanism that flips up. You see, you see it moving right here. What you want to do, it's, it's actually laying flat when it's locked. So you want to stick your fingernails in there and just push it up and uh, it should loosen up the mechanism and you should be able to slide it in. Now, how I'm doing this is I'm actually taking my needle nose plier, gripping the cable, try to grip the brown part because that's reinforced. Here it's just plastic and, and circuits. So if you tear this, then you're pretty much screwed in terms of the screen. So just grasp this as if you can. Use something thin or use uh, like a needle nose uh, tweezer as well. So just don't forget to, to flip this up uh, when you take it apart. Uh, mine still came out with this. Uh, it's just, you know, friction locking mechanism. Um, but if you're putting it back in, it's, you definitely want to flip this back out. I can't recall if I mentioned that this one had or did not have a locking mechanism, but it does have one. So uh, you just want to flip this, this thing up and then just slide it in. This is way easier. Make sure it's completely inside. Uh, completely inside and just flip it down like so put the tape back on um, and at this stage everything is back together um, and I guess I'll give it a try well at least it turns on screen still good back still off uh, let's see what happens so I'm just gonna record say a few words into the camera blow uh, or rub that but just make sure you speak into this. So hello, 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 one, two, three. So let's see if it works. And as you can see, it doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so what am I going to do next? So I'm going to take this apart and the next thing I'm going to try is I'm going to take the rubber boots off and see if that does anything. So I tried taking the boot off and uh, still doesn't seem to work. But what I did notice was when I blow into it, it does pick up sound. So if you listen. So it does pick up sound when I blow into it. Yeah, so I don't know how to go on from there. Let me know if you know what to do next or whether these this thing is even replaceable. Hopefully uh, this is this assembly helped you guys. You guys should give it a try. If you have mic issues, maybe it's a different problem from mine. Mine is clearly a, a hardware mic issue because it seems to pick it up when I'm blowing into it. So uh, let me know what you guys think uh, or what I should do next.